Zero Slovenia, hello Expo and hello world. I know these are strange times and due to uncertain circumstances, Expo is postponed. But nevertheless, we are more than excited to be part of it in 2021 and also to be participating in virtual pre-events, launching us to the main highlight, the Expo 2021. I'm Uta Mavet and I have the honor to introduce our charming and innovative country. We are Slovenia, green, creative and smart. A country of infinite opportunities, you will see. You will get to know our innovative, creative and enthusiastic spirit within the next virtual minutes, especially on the field of ever-evolving space technologies. But before we launch ourselves to space, let's stay grounded and take a look and fall in love with our beloved Green Slovenia. Listen, traveler. It's too late to go back now. The forests have filled your lungs. Rivers run in your heart. You have set the course for the land so green and abound with unspoilt nature that you will never be the same. You have come to Slovenia. To live hand in hand with these natural riches is a deep-rooted gratitude locals feel every day. The respect for nature shows in the way we think, live, and do. Slovenia Green is a unique story and a great lesson in sustainability for the rest of the world. It began with a pledge to preserve the pristine nature for us and for you. We set out on a long, steep path and became active guardians of our natural heritage. Local communities and tourist providers have all come together to build a unique model of sustainability and tourism. Over a decade, we put together a visionary policy that nurtures everyone by the table. Today, we are one of the world's greenest destinations. We encourage you to visit us by train, bike, or on foot. On your way, you will come to understand why we included the right to clean drinking water in our Constitution. We believe in responsible observation of the mysterious wildlife. The inhabitants of our ancient forest can teach us all how important it is to protect our planet. When your step becomes heavy, it is time to rest. We think green accommodation should be as close to stars, birds, and trees as possible. We believe in the green inspiration from one generation to another, from one traveler to another. It comes with a view that overwhelms. To know how to listen to a tree is for us a way of traveling too. You can never cross the same stream, walk the same forest path twice. Our commitment and enthusiasm for sustainable tourism have been contagious. Today we stand united, together with you, dear traveler, under the vision of Green Slovenia. Yes, Slovenia is beautiful and green, but our vision and ambition is not limited to beauty itself. We are very curious people over here, and we've been space enthusiasts for a long time. Just to mention Hermann Potocnik Nordung, who wrote a book about space travel and rocket engines already in 1928. And quite some time after that, in 2016 to be exact, we became associated member state of European Space Agency. The space sector is rapidly developing in Slovenia. There are many companies and institutions with their innovative solutions positioning themselves among global market leaders. 
on September 3rd this year, we achieved another success. Namely, the first two Slovenian satellites were successfully launched to space. More on that later, because now I would like to present the Minister of Economic Development and Technology, Mr. Zdravko Pucivaušek, to share Slovenia's vision and ideas regarding space exploration. Dear ladies and gentlemen, it's my great privilege and honor to participate at the Pre-Expo Space Week and to have an opportunity to say a few words on this important occasion. I would like to thank the organizers for giving Slovenia a chance to present itself to this distinguished audience. The digital world is a world of opportunities without a doubt. It has significantly improved our lives. It makes it easier to trade and it opens new pathways for economic innovation. Important part of this digital world is space industry, a rapidly changing sector thanks to the technology innovation and most importantly to the vitality of a new generation of entrepreneurs. Slovenia has always recognized the importance of space and joined the European Space Agency in 2016 as an associate member. We are proud to be part of ESI and EU space activities. But our involvement in space is not something new. It began in 1928 when a Slovene known as Herman Potocnik Nordung published his book The Problem of Space Travel, The Rocket Motor. Nordung's book was an actual plan for a breakthrough into space and the establishment of a permanent human presence there. Following his lead, Slovenia believes that space offers lots of opportunities for smaller countries like ours and small and medium-sized enterprises. Enhancing support and inclusion of SMEs is extremely important to Slovenia because they are flexible and adaptable enough to immediately respond to new challenges with new products and solutions. We are happy to see Slovenia on the map of space economies, not only with the launch of our first satellites, but also with the impressive project being uh, conducted here home. What gives us a special pride is that these are recognized by ESA and other big players. I'm confident uh, Slovenian space industry has the knowledge to become a successful global player Money spent on the space industry is a good investment, also because uh, of its significant split-over effects on almost all areas of life. A new space age is beginning, and we are ready to play our part in it. Let me conclude with a simple message. Slovenia has an outstanding reputation for innovation and creativity. We may be a bright star in space once, but we already have our very bright stars here on Earth. As shown by the second youngest cyclist the, to ever win the Tour de France, UAE Team Emirates leader, our own Tadej Pogacar. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Puchevaushek. Thank you so much for your enthusiastic words. And as you have heard, most of space-related innovations come from the private sector. And now it's time to get to know the Slovenian companies which are leading in the market with their excellent products and solutions. And I would like to greet Mrs. Tanya Permoser, who just joined me uh, today in the studio. Tanya, hello. Well, thank you, Moitza. Hello. F thank you for that kind introduction. And uh, you will help me a bit um, to present uh, all the companies. It's it's a very very these are very exciting times for Slovenia. So, what do you think of this um, today's topic? Yes, um, I'm very proud to say that Slovenian companies are recognized as one of the most innovative small and medium-sized companies uh, in the European Space Agency. 
And we have already seen some very efficient projects being conducted in Slovenia and that were recognized by European Space Agency and, with, uh, and also with big players. Uh, today, uh, space activities are essential for uh, innovation, innovations, for economic growth and for competitiveness. And our companies, Slovenia companies, are best example of how impact of space activities are uh, a growing um, sector and how these activities can contribute to economic growth, to economy and society. And also, I'm very proud to report that we have taken all major steps uh, for our companies to be competitive and to carry Slovenia uh, deeper into space. Uh, I just think it's, it's amazing for such a small country and we are talking about these topics and the space program as well over here. So let's start with Slovenia's latest achievement. Uh, this year, on September the 3rd, uh, we have launched the first two Slovenian satellites in, into the orbit. Uh, and Tanya, how do you comment that achievement? It was amazing. It was so, yes. like, everybody was really... <laughs> yes, it was indeed. But I have to say that uh, to, uh, this year was really an amazing year. We have many projects uh, to be shown, but nothing compares to the uh, historical successful launch of these two satellites. And these satellites will perform a variety of tasks in orbit from Earth observation, climate monitoring, science, and as well as education. Of course, this is a magnific magnificent success, and uh, we are happy to see Slovenia on the map of space economies. Let's take a look at the launch of NEMO HD satellite and more about its constructor, the Slovenian Center of Excellence for Space Sciences and Technologies. Space SI is the Slovenian Center of Excellence for Space Sciences and Technologies that was established in 2010 by a public-private consortium to benefit from microsatellite technologies. The center's research and development activities are focused on micro and nano satellite platforms, an advanced ground control infrastructure, as well as satellite integration and testing facilities. Space SI has developed a high-precision interactive remote sensing satellite designed mission NEMO HD to acquire multispectral images and real-time high-definition video. NEMO HD has been launched on Vega VV16 launcher on 3rd of September 2020. Now, when we have developed not only the satellite but the complete system, including the ground station infrastructure, the data processing chain and laboratories, I'm very happy working in this holistic environment. Space SI has also developed a complete and fully automatic chain for processing chain from raw satellite data to web-delivered map-ready images, for many utilized through a dissemination platform Geopedia in real-life situations. We have one of the most complete um, infrastructures in the region that can uh, support development of microsatellite technologies. Space SI is planning to develop new satellites with high resolution, participate in science missions and wants to enter the expanding business in space economy with new products. We are uh, developing a combination of real-time video from space and multispectral images which will generate many new opportunities and we have targeted several interesting areas but on the other hand our platform will be open to globally for all the proposers that would like to develop new video markets that is not existing currently. I genuinely believe that there is a lot of space for Slovenia in space. Well, Skylabs is the company that constructed the Trisat satellite and let's see who they really are. Skylab's company provides new innovative solutions and products in nano and small satellite industry by technology miniaturization while still preserving fault tolerance in order to assure robustness and reliability, as it is expected by much larger satellites. Skylab's company developed a small-scale fault-tolerant soft-core processor five years ago, the first such core in the EU, 
also addressing the European technology independence. Other innovative Skylab solutions are also already equipping different Constellation missions. Three weeks ago, Skylabs became the first Slovenian company with its technology in space. Trisat was successfully launched on Vega VV16 launcher on the 3rd of September 2020. Ten years of waiting, ten years of dreams actually became reality for us. Now we have a knowledge, technology, we have uh, also the first experience, so the universe is no longer a foreign en environment for us. Skylabs, together with the University of Maribor, is now building a new satellite called Trisat R, which is expected to travel 10 times farther into 6,000 distant Earth orbit, where the radiation will be several times higher. For us, this presents another milestone, another huge milestone, because we, we want to show uh, how reliable can be our platform and we will be actually be the first nanosatellite in new orbit. Their success comes from the enthusiasm that their team was born with as they recall memories from early mornings at a young age. I was watching uh, the stars and at that time I was dreaming uh, about the stars, how to acquire them. Not only me, but also my colleagues, uh, the Scallops team have similar dreams and we joined the forces and today we have the Scallops company. With Skylabs, Slovenia has a strong member in space exploration. And I also believe that uh, Slovenia is already a visible player in this space segment. We've really seen smart and advanced technologies that are a result of Slovenian engineers. Tanya, and we really have plenty of experts in this country. Yes, Moica, indeed. Uh, we are known very well as uh, of having a lot of space engineers, space experts that are recognized all over the world. And I must say that also our space experts uh, have been employed within the European Space Agency. And this is really a, quite an achievement for such a small country as Slovenia is. And it's nice to see more and more ladies as well in the team. Yes. <laughs> Well, Dinosoft is working with NASA since 2005, and let's see their story. Dinosoft provides hardware and software for large-scale and complex systems, which have to be measured. In the last 20 years, Dinosoft developed award-winning, powerful, yet easy-to-use space for all kinds of tests and measurement applications. Divisoft helps space technology engineers monitor and diagnose events in sensors on highly complex devices, where up to 2,000 channels need to be monitored simultaneously and 200,000 samples per second captured on a single channel. Divisoft provides hardware and software tools for complex solutions for data recording, tracking, model analysis, balancing, etc. Divisoft provides solutions that are used for several testing applications in aerospace or engine and component testing. They have been working with NASA since 2003 on the telemetry application. Not only that, uh, our systems are used uh, for component testing, uh, for test benches, as well as uh, in the launcher platform all around the world. Their clients are important actors in the field of space from all around the world. In the US we work um, with uh, all the DoD ranges, uh, with NASA, with SpaceX. Uh, in Europe we work with uh, European Space uh, Agency, with uh, DLR. And then uh, in India, uh, in China, in Japan, in Russia. So basically, basically with all the big guys. More promising opportunities come with Divisoft's vision. Our vision is that our instruments will not only serve as the data acquisition, but also as a control uh, real-time front-ends. The first installation of this kind on a big scale is already installed in French Guyana. I think uh, the team uh, in our company is very dedicated and very passionate about the technology. Our passion reflects in all our instruments uh, and solutions as well. And another company, Balmaris Vision, is creating new products for space and aerospace, improving materials hand-in-hand -hand with reducing cost and time. Balmar is a small privately owned SME from Celia, established in 2008. It provides services and R&D activities for space, aerospace and automotive industry. Since 2011, Balmar has been actively involved into space industry in the area of advanced manufacturing, 
additive manufacturing with following expertise and activities. We uh, develop and manufacture different metal parts for structures uh, of space vehicles like satellites or uh, let's say big uh, mirrors and we also build parts for the propulsional systems which are for the rocket engines. In the beginning Balmar started with aviation business and later got the chance to enter the space. And we say why not because this is almost the same uh, but all, only the altitude is different. Balmar wants to continue building new parts for space missions, developing technology to build parts in space and repairing parts for space industry. Their vision and mission is to develop and manufacture parts with lower mass and the same strength. This is uh, extremely important for space industry because if we manage to reduce the mass, we manage to reduce the price of the products and the missions, consequently. And this is what actually everyone is looking for in this, this industry. Palmar already established a great cooperation and close contact with ESA, but wants to create new business partners in the future. To be present in, the, uh, in different space missions, uh, we need strong partners and we would like to uh, be more present or more involved with bigger companies uh, like Airbus, like uh, Boeing, like NASA. It is an industry with a lot of challenges, but Palmar thinks Slovenia needs to take part in it. We have a lot of knowledge, also very rich heritage in this area and we are enough crazy to be part of this industry. Where control systems for space technologies are developed by COSILAB and they are proud to be recognized as a trustful partner by ESA. COSILAB is the world's leading provider of control systems for the most complex machines, nuclear accelerators, optical and radio telescopes, fusion reactors, cancer therapy systems and much more. With more than 200 experts, they're bringing their excellent knowledge from the world's biggest scientific project like ALMA and ITER into the space sector. They have finished the first project for ESA ESTEC. In the beginning, they oriented into the ground station segment, where they are contributing to the operation of EGSCC, which is the infrastructure to support space systems, monitoring and control in pre- and post-launch phases for all mission types. They're proud to be recognized by ESA as a trustful and competent partner. Additionally, we are very proud of our team who is working in this field. Even though that space is a new segment for COSILAB, they are showing that we are capable to understand our customers and deliver advanced solutions to ESA. Uh, for the future, we are planning to extend our collaboration with ESA and start to develop solutions for the flight segment. They also plan to collaborate with NASA and other big players from the space segment. COSILAB is pushing science to its limits and they can contribute a lot with their expert knowledge in the space segment. For the employees, space is their passion. That's why this work is making them happy and our vision is that our employees are happy. They're also constantly striving to be better and to contribute even more to the space sector, thus making Slovenia even more recognized in the space community. Slovenian researchers and industries has an excellent knowledge and a lot of passion in the field of space. We had already achieved a lot and we can be very proud about that. Well, but it's not all about outer space. It's also how we use space technologies on our planet. And we have a couple of very good examples as well in Slovenia. Tanya, don't we? Yes, indeed, Moica. And uh, Slovenia has recognized the importance of Earth observation uh, for its uh, economical and societal uh, beneficence. And uh, data used from space is very successfully and increasingly used in public services, such as spatial monitoring, uh, spatial planning, uh, environmental monitoring, and is also used in other sectors like uh, energy and agriculture. And if I may, Moica, uh, uh, space is today recognized as the industry of the future. Well, Synergize built an award-winning satellite imagery processing services running in the cloud. Let's check this out. 
Synergize is a geographic information system company building large turnkey geospatial systems in the fields of cloud GIS, agriculture and real estate administration. It was established in 2008 to develop enterprise-level solutions for managing spatial data, especially for support and land administration and agriculture processes. Our feet are strongly on the ground since the very beginning. Uh, however, when we realized the value of the data that's being available uh, but not used, we, we thought that we have to do something about it, and then we did. Synergize built the Copernicus Masters award-winning satellite imagery processing services running in the cloud Sentinel Hub. Sentinel Hub is a cloud-based API providing instant access to petabytes of satellite data globally, used by tens of thousands of people every month and processing more than half a billion of requests every month. The Sentinel Hub is not just a good technology demonstration and a good business case, but also an essential contribution to fighting climate change, as it is raising awareness about the environment, providing daily insight in the state of our planet to every person with internet and a web browser. The climate change is probably one of the most important things that is affecting all of us and uh, being able to see really what's happening on a daily or weekly basis throughout the planet, that's something that is really powerful. And I believe that we are kind of changing the ways how people uh, understand the processes in the world. The next challenge is how to automatically extract information from satellite data. Slovenia, like our company, is a tiny piece of, in the mosaic. That being said, with a quarter of a billion of requests being processed every month, the impact of our work is being felt throughout the world. And people might not know that we are coming from Slovenia, but they certainly feel it. And let's look at another company that works in the field of geoinformatics and spatial analytic solutions, Geocodis. Geocodis is a private SME specialized in geoinformatics and spatial analytic solutions. Geocodis started as a provider of quality of services platform for mobile phone industry, especially focused on visualization and monitoring of important key performance parameters. They use space technology and spatial data to explore Earth and to provide important solutions to their customers and provide them useful data of water bodies, land cover changes, build up areas and other. Geocodis is present in several African countries, Uganda, Kenya and Rwanda, with web-based and mobile solutions that monitor accessibility and reliability of pipe water systems and rural environments. We would like to, to use the satellite imagery to detect changes at build-up areas and combine them with existing water bodies data that will help Ministry of Water and Environment to make better plans to better invest uh, their yearly budget. In the field of Earth observation, Geocode is developed and maintains portal for the detection and analysis based on Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 images. In future, they plan to expand their services. We would like also to integrate our services to new areas, to new projects, which we did not start yet. At the moment, we integrate them into water sector, but I know there is a plenty of opportunities still for them, but we need time. Geocodis is on a mission, mission to take care of our planet. As a responsible adult, we have to use all possible technology and experiences that we have to preserve planet Earth as a green, beautiful planet. That's because this is the only planet we have. Last but not least, we have a company which produces radomes that protect transportable antenna systems and is also exploring constructions of habitats on Mars. Dual. Dual is the global leader in the field of air-supported structures technology and they have two excellent space-related references. Vision for this our space exploration came from our experience. You cannot explore space if you haven't state-of-art technologies. And 30 years of experience in this our field, it is enough that now we can with proud say we are ready to do this. The first one represents radomes, envelope protection for antenna systems. 
Radom protects antenna systems while providing outstanding electromagnetic transmission performance throughout a broad range of frequencies. It improves pointing and tracking accuracy and extends system operation time to 24-7 regardless of weather conditions. Protected from the environment, Radom extends the component lifetime reducing maintaining costs for the antenna system. Radom can operate in extreme weather conditions and is equipped with an innovative solution for supervision and automation. Second one is maybe even much more important, or as they say, the goal is already on the way to Mars. They are developing habitats on Mars, which is a project in cooperation with the American Space Agency and the UK universities. If we are talking, if we are talking about the space technologies, then for sure this is just first step. It's the beginning of this uh, development. The future of the all is bright as well for Slovenia. This is beginning. Now it's already we can recognize that partnership in the European Space Agency was an excellent move. More and more companies each day we are working with the space. And if Slovenia is nowadays known as a small and a beauty country, I am absolutely confident that in the nearest future it will be known also of its significant contribution to the space exploration. What an amazing collection of visionary companies we can be extremely proud of, uh, and proud of course of our Slovenian knowledge. And Tanya, thank you for your company as well today. Thank you Moitza for giving me the opportunity to present Slovenian companies and to meet them next year at the Expo. Well, enough of space traveling for now. Back to planet Earth. Because let's talk about pure nature. Let's talk about sustainability and innovation. And I have a lovely lady waiting for you. She's the State Secretary at the Ministry of Economic Development and Technology, Ms. Aida Zuderman, and she will be inviting you to Slovenia's pavilion at Expo 2021. For Slovenia, World Expo in Dubai represents a great opportunity to showcase how our cutting-edge smart and green technologies together with Slovenian creative talent can contribute to a better and more sustainable world. It also gives us an opportunity to put Slovenia on a global map, representing the country as a relevant and reliable business partner and attractive destination to visit and explore. We are thrilled to see the world finally coming together and start creating new businesses and personal connections. Slovenia's pavilion will provide a unique experience to its visitors to feel and discover in person how our country by its way of living and our businesses with cutting edge solutions can contribute to global goal of sustainable business, industries and living. Slovenia's pavilion wants to become a hotspot for businesses, connections and an inspiration for visitors. Come and visit our green heart of Europe near the entrance of sustainability section. My first experience of Slovenia was so much more than I expected. Now that I've been here a few times, I know it might be small in size, but it's big in its achievements. Now I know Slovenia's economy is green, its people are creative and their technological solutions are smart. Slovenia, a land of infinite potential with fantastic opportunities. Which one will you take? Well, thank you, Mrs. Suderman. And we all invite you to feel Slovenia as well. We are preparing more interesting content during this year leading to Expo 2021. And be sure that you don't miss our pavilion. We guarantee you will have a unique experience to really feel Slovenia and get to know all true Slovenia's potential. Thank you for being with me today and see you soon. <laughs>